Hi, aloha and thank you for coming to today's Facebook live stream. My name is Master Paul and I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. I am also considered a divine vehicle, servant and channel. This means I have dedicated my life to serve humanity and folks just like yourself. So I appreciate you tuning in to today's live stream. On well, today, I will be focusing on sharing guidance, wisdom, and insights that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to humanity to assist us with transforming our blockages in every aspect of life. And when I say every aspect of life, I truly mean that. That means finances, that means business, that means relationships of all kinds, parents, children, spouses. Um, this means uh, clearing blockages with problems with people that you work with. Every aspect of life can be brought into harmony when we apply soul power. And that is the subject of today. <clears throat> How to apply soul power to bring healing and transformation to our um, blockages that we may have with our parents. And so I will give you some the guidance, wisdom, and insights that Master Shah has brought to us. I will be using his book called Divine Transformation. We will all use some of the uh, uh, power that's in this book and the practices in this book, and we'll do it together. And then I'll also offer a soul reading today uh, from heaven regarding the nature of our parent-child problems. <clears throat> and in many cases, it works both directions because that who is our child was potentially our parent in a previous time and vice versa. So there's always a lot of value that can be gained from a teaching and blessing like what you will be seeing today. So for all those that have stumbled across this live stream, I encourage you to stay the entire hour. I have been doing these live streams for uh, about five months now. And um, I can share with you that based on the response and the feedback I'm receiving from those that watch, that has brought a significant value and shift to their life in a very positive way. And I give 100% of the credit to Dr. and Master Shah because he gives 100% of the credit to the Divine Creator. He takes no credit ever, puts his head on the ground always, and ensures that as uh, we become his students and um, his healers, he makes sure that we take no credit for any of the healing miracles that tend to occur as a result of applying soul power. <clears throat> so, today will be a very powerful day. So, um, I'm going to acknowledge some of the folks that have arrived so far. Welcome, Carol. Please uh, check in with me a little bit later. Let me know how things are going after the blessing. Welcome, Shannon. Welcome, Tammy Hunter. Um, welcome, Mary. And Kristen Strachan, good to see you, Kristen. Hopefully you got your FedEx stuff taken care of. Shanice, long time no see, Shanice, happy to see you here. Welcome, Shari. Uh, CJ, good to see you tuning in. And Kristen, welcome back from your short jaunt off island. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Dana, good to see you as well. And hi, Tammy J. Uh, didn't hear, I didn't uh, get a chance to read the responses from yesterday, so... Hopefully the soul readings were of value to everybody. Um, I won't be doing individual soul readings today. As I said, I'll be focusing on um, the, the chasm that tends to occur between us and our parents. But um, hopefully we'll, we'll uh, get some good value from that. Welcome, Cheryl. Uh, Nancy, good to see you, Nancy. Welcome, Ilona and Amy. Welcome, Stephanie. <coughs> And so as more people come in, I'll uh, connect with them. So please hit your share button. Let other people know about today's event. Some person might see that, ah, oh, I have troubles with my parents and it could be of great value for them. So let us connect heart to heart and soul to soul. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Bring your thoughts, your mind and your breath fully into your lower abdomen. And if you know where your Ming Min point is and that little dip in your back, that's the ideal place to place your focus. This is called the Tao point, where heaven and earth connect in the human vessel. And this is just one of the many sacred secrets that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to us. So release the stress of the day and release the stress that might be coming as you are waking up. Dear beloved divine, dear the Tao and the source, dear creator, whatever name, that you are acknowledged by. We love you, we honor you, we respect you, and I bow down to you. 
I ask humbly and sincerely for your presence today. We ask that you come to sit in each of our heart centers to bless us today, to awaken to whatever blockages we may have with our parents, to help us to clear the Shin Xian Jing blockages, however they might exist. And if there are just a few, God bless all of us and let us clear those few. Dear the soul of all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including the stars, galaxies, planets, and universes, all angels and healing angels, all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, dear beloved Namo Amitofu, beloved Konyan, 87 Buddha, dear all the other holy beings mentioned and unmentioned serving the plan of the light side, heaven's animals, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, bow to you, I bow to you. And I invite you to please come to be with us here today. We're truly, deeply honored and grateful for your incredible service to us on a daily basis. We do not see you very often. We do not acknowledge your presence. But without you, surely we would have a much worse day. Surely we could have lost our life or had a significant accident. Without your protection, your love, your guidance, your wisdom, and your insights, we could have had great blockages in our life. So we truly have great respect for the light side and all that you do for us in unseen ways. We invite the souls of our heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. And we invite the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, which has been transmitted to all souls in all universes. We are deeply humbled and grateful for this tremendous opportunity to connect with you and your incredible and unconditional service to all souls. And we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us to join hearts and souls together as we assist in our part in clearing humanity karma. So let us chant together. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, la, li, lula, Lula Song I ping on her she, song I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join arts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I trod and lay on li rung her musher shung. Song I ping on a se, song I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> how, 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 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you feel the difference? When we connect to the soul world, everything changes. One of the foundational teachings that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to us is soul is the boss. And every soul has a purpose. The purpose is to serve. When we serve, our soul standing elevates and therefore we return to the source, the Tao, Creator, whatever name you wish to call it. But it starts by acknowledging that there are higher souls than us. It is the ego that separates us from the recognition of higher souls. And when we acknowledge that everyone, everything has a soul and that there may be higher souls than us, then we can acknowledge that there's a reason that they're higher. Very likely because they have practiced what we are beginning to practice now. They are they have forgiven, they have reached higher layers of love and understanding of the nature of the oneness of everything. And so they also understand that service is how they can elevate their own soul standing. So they unconditionally offer their service and all that is required of us is recognition of them. All that is asked of us is say hello. This is the secret to soul and soul power. Say hello to the soul of Divine Tao Source, to the soul of Ganesha, to the soul of Buddha, to the soul of Jesus, to the soul of my Heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints. Call them all. They may come, they may not. Portions of them will definitely come. There's a whole lot of Buddha, well over a trillion. There's a whole lot of holy beings, saints, uh, Heaven's animals. Doesn't mean they're all going to come, but those that are available, those that are wish to expand their soul standing will come and that's the very first step in the easy way to fix any of our relationships today we're focusing on healing the relationship with our parents and so we will apply some some of this as we go but I received some messages even while I was starting uh, so I'm gonna come back to that in a minute so I want to acknowledge Michelle uh, Johannes and Cheryl Spencer and Silky. Um, Cheryl and Silky, you must be coming in on like an iPad or something like that because my system doesn't acknowledge certain um, certain systems. I don't know why. And the only way I even know you're here is I, it tells me that you shared. So thank you for sharing. Thank you everyone for your sharing of this, uh, of this live stream. I truly appreciate it. And welcome Johannes. Welcome Yvonne. Uh, welcome Lisa. So, um, I'm going to start by offering a blessing for the relationship between you and your parents. And then I'm going to connect with um, some of the deeper teachings on the nature of our relationship with our parents. Then we're going to do some practices specifically to clear some of those blockages and it's going to be easy. And the reason it's going to be easy is because we're doing everything on the level of soul. If you tried to fix things on the level of the personality, guess what? Probably doesn't work that well. And so you're going to find some significant value with soul power and the application of it on a consistent basis. All right? So, um, to the soul of all those that are watching this video, to the soul of the relationship between these people that are watching, all these beautiful souls that are watching, and their parents. So this is to you and the soul of your relationship with the parents. This is where the blessing will go. I love you. I honor you. I appreciate you. You have the power to release blockages, to see in this lifetime the opportunities to clear the karma so that you do not create suffering moving forward. You have the ability and the power, the soul power, to transform these blockages in this lifetime I invite you to awaken and to do so. Please prepare to receive. Sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. Put your feet flat on the floor. Place your hands relaxed one over the other on your lower abdomen. Remember to relax your shoulders as well. Touching your tongue gently to the roof of your mouth. Dear beloved Kuan Yin, Buddha of Compassion, 
I bow to you and I bow to you and I bow to you. You are a tremendous spiritual mother and I invite you at this time to come. And as I chant your mantra, could you please offer these souls that are watching now and in the future on a recording and the relationship between them and their parents a blessing as I chant your mantra. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Prepare to receive. Namo Kwan Shirin Pusa Namo Kwan Shirin Pusa Namo Kwan Shirin Thank you, beloved Kuan Yin. We invite you to remain for the entirety of this uh, one hour session today. And I ask, beloved Kuan Yin, if you could offer a message to all of those watching today on the significance of the relationship between them and their parents. All things good and unpleasant and deeper wisdom so that everyone has a bit more understanding thank you thank you thank you this is Kuan Yin I am called the Buddha of compassion. I am called many names in many cultures. How did I reach the status of Bodhisattva? I was a servant to all including my parents. I tell you, over one million lifetimes I have lived much, much more than 99% of humanity. And in these lifetimes I have experienced everything up to humanity, through humanity, and above humanity. 
there is only one truth that need be understood. Love melts all blockages. Some of you have heard this before. Some of you, it bounces off your forehead. Some of you, it is the first time you've heard these words in this sentence. And for all of you, there needs to be a substantially deeper understanding. You and your parents, you and your children, have been through this experience many times before. That is why there is such a thing as a relationship soul. The soul exists because the experiences between you and the souls you call currently in this lifetime your parents has occurred in other lifetimes, possibly in the same order, possibly in reverse order, wherein you were the parent and they were the child. Regardless, this created a relationship soul. And it is this where I offered my blessings because it is this which carries the most Shen Qi and Jing blockages. These blockages follow the human being through their many lifetimes. And they are quite clear. But it is the lack of awareness of the nature of the wheel of life that separates one from the recognition of the great and vast opportunities that are present to them in each moment and in those moments where you are frustrated with those family members. These moments of irritation, anger, angst, fear, helplessness, and more are rooted in the preceding activities held at the level of the soul of the relationship between the two of you. And it is here where the fix can occur. There is so much suffering trying to heal parental and child relationships at the level of human ego that it is truly astounding and a bit disheartening to witness that the awakening of the simplicity of healing this has not been acknowledged. But this is one of the reasons why the Great One known as Master Shah has come to remind humanity <coughs> of the nature of souls and their purpose, which is to serve. And that is how I started this conversation with you. In this service to your parents, you would acknowledge where the suffering is and further acknowledge your creation of it because of the nature of your karmic cycle with those you call your parents. It is not something you can question. No, in fact, it is 100% true. There is no such thing as accidental parents that is specific to the many lifetimes you have run the circle together. And so in discovering the area of 
discontent. The first step is to recognize you had been the one creating that upon the other. Therein lies the solution of love. And love melts that blockage. Forgiveness melts that blockage. Not offering forgiveness. This is the big mistake. It is the asking for forgiveness that must occur. Of course, the offering is relevant, but secondary to the asking. Once this occurs, the chasm between the child and the parent is dramatically impacted in a very positive way. And the two souls are on the path of completing their imbalance that they can move both move their soul journeys forward. This is one of the most simple ways to understand the nature of the soul of the relationship. I am confident that you can work with this teaching and create great results. I am honored to serve each of you and I invite you to call my name prior to any forgiveness and or service based practice. This is Kuan Yin. Ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kuan Yin. Okay, what a very, very beautiful message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me a moment. I got very hot with her frequency. Woo! Okay, we'll acknowledge uh, Rushi came in. Welcome, Rushi. Welcome, Tammy. Welcome, um, Phil Seidler and <coughs> Allie. And uh, welcome, Steve Pointer. Good to see you here, Steve. So pretty straightforward in many ways. For me, I have been receiving this wisdom for over eight years and have been applying uh, the foundational teachings that Master Shah has brought to us, that Kuan Yin re reflected upon as a, a great one has come to remind us of these basic truths. Now again, probably well over half of us are very aware of this and have done well to clear ex uh, certain blockages. There still may be some though. Uh, unless your relationship with your parent slash child, <coughs> I say slash child because the wisdom applies to the children as well. Uh, if, if there is still certain blockages, like a good example is um, uh, a mother or a father that is um, repeating stuff again and again that you've made very clear to them that you're not like that or that you've made sure that you don't do that kind of thing they warn you about, but they continually repeat it, okay? So this is, and if it brings up an irritation for you, guess what? That's a blockage. And so that's what I would refer to as little stuff versus the big stuff where um, we, we you know, have difficulty even being in their presence. So there's this huge range depending on uh, the amount and level of karma that we hold with our parents. <clears throat> Typically with our children, we have quite a bit more affection and latitude we we um, you know we let them grow however they can even if they drive us crazy uh, they still are the you know the, they're the joy of our life their their version of us as the parents is quite a bit different than our perspective towards them as the child and so it's important to look at both angles when we're working with this process because you are working right now with the bless with this process for your parent but if you have children, then that child is looking at you in a similar way as you're looking at your parent. How do we look at our parents? We look at them as we know everything. They have given us uh, help here and there, but they're wrong on this, wrong on that, wrong on that. And I wish they'd change this, wish they'd change that. I wish they'd leave me alone with this, wish they'd leave me alone with that. So we have all these I know better stuff going on. And guess what your kid has about you? Same thing. 
And so we have to look in both directions when we work with this practice. We have to acknowledge that um, the, th the act actions and mindsets we have towards our parents is highly likely the same actions and mindsets our children have towards us. So when we're doing the healing upward, it's also causing us to shift our perspectives, which in turn will cause our children naturally to shift their perspectives. So it's a healing all the way through the cycle from the parent down to the children because it's a hierarchy and it's an ancestral chain. And so this comes together. So welcome, Melina. Thank you for joining. So. Um, as we move into this next section of the practice, let us keep that in mind because we will include uh, children in this practice. All right, so I'm going to be using uh, this book here called Divine Transformation. Um, this is definitely on my, my top favorite uh, of Master Shah's books. And one of the reasons why is it's, it's extremely usable, extremely practical. Um, it's very straightforward. Uh, it's really good actually to share with others that have a bit of an open spiritual mind, just a, a, a crack of open spiritual mind. They will have zero resistance to this book because it's all about healing different areas of your life. Um, and literally it covers every area of your life. And he goes about offering blessings in the book and then practices so that you can transform. So <clears throat> to, to just offer a little bit more before we go into the practice, how long do you think you've had this uh, relationship with your parents? Is it just this lifetime? We know now that definitely more. The average human lives between 500 and 1,000 lifetimes. Of course, there's many, many young souls, but that's going to be the average at this point. And that's a whole lot of lifetimes to have been with these same parents and or children. Um, so we do have different parents, but we do come back around to collect the karma. So let's just re figure a round number out of 500 lifetimes that 50 of those we have been with these souls that we call our parents. And it could have been lovers, it could have been children, it could have been any combination of what's showing up today in front of us. But 50 is not a small number. That means that there's 50 times in which we could have hurt each other a lot. Lifetimes worth. You know, a lifetime is at least 60 years in most cases. So that's 60 years of of either a heck of a lot of love or hurting each other. That's a lot of lifetimes. So you need to imagine one lifetime of it, imagine a bunch. And so when we um, do practices, it has to be done more than once. <laughs> okay, you cannot expect miracles overnight. Master Marilyn talked about um, her and her sister, Patricia, and how they started doing this for um, uh, the blockages that they had with specific family members. And every day they included one in particular, uh, I think it was an uncle, <clears throat> um, that was just just like the Scrooge in life about everything, uh, especially at the family get-togethers. And um, so they always added him in their forgiveness practices. And um, they said it was, it took, they, they watched it because they had family reunions a couple times a year. They said it took about a year, but they saw him softening, saw him softening. And about a year later, um, it was as if he was never that crotchety old person. They had no physical conversation with them at all, none. It was specifically and only soul power. That's the power of using what we're going to do right now, okay? So make sure you do the practice on a consistent basis if you want results. Um, and so uh, there is uh, one of the people on the line here that has a, a specific problem right now with their mother. And we've talked about it a couple times. And, you know, they say, I've, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. How long have you tried? Right? Uh, have you identified all the areas that she drives you nuts and have you done specific forgiveness for driving her nuts in previous times, right? And how long have you done it? Have you truly asked for forgiveness at that deep and authentic level consistently? That's when the things start to shift, okay? So, we are going to use uh, one of the light balls from Dr. Master Shah that he's transmitted to this book, and I'm going to transmit it to you. It's called the Div Divine Rainbow Light Ball not golden light ball, higher frequency, rainbow light ball of divine harmony. Okay, so you're going to get rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid springs, soul, mind, body, 
transmission to your soul and this rainbow light ball is permanently attached to your soul you can call on it anytime it will offer you blessings for any area of your life and going backwards 10 minutes I spoke of soul power call forth Kuan Yin divine Tao source call as many souls as you can this is one of the souls you call okay because it is it is right next to your soul it carries so much light and it's specifically for about bringing harmony so any place there's a lack of harmony in your life any inharmonious relationships with that co-worker with that ex uh, with the parents you pull out the la, this rainbow light ball of uh, divine harmony and you ask it to serve and it brings the frequency of the divine at the rainbow light level which is substantially higher than what we can work with and it starts dissolving the blockages so if you'd like to receive this please say yes to the divine I will offer it accordingly if you're not ready to receive it say no thank you I'm not ready to receive this at this time prepare to receive prepare divine order through the power given to me through Master Shah's books as a worldwide representative and divine channel divine rainbow light ball and divine rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony soul transplant transmission continue to keep your eyes closed continue to receive divine order divine rainbow light ball and divine rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony mind transplant transmission divine order divine rainbow light ball divine rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony body transplant transmission divine order divine rainbow light ball divine rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony soul mind body transplants join as one hey yeah yeah hey yeah hey yeah yeah yo turn on 24 7 transmission join in as one in the mingman transmission okay congratulations countless bow downs to divine Tao source to master Shah for the opportunity to receive this divine treasure this will absolutely change your life okay so you have now received a permanent download for divine harmony rainbow light ball rainbow liquid springs it's like the yin and the yang and we're going to use it to bring harmony to our relationships specifically with our parents okay getting a little notice here and I'm about to run out of battery because I forgot to plug it in so hopefully that will solve my problem and hopefully I don't lose you <laughs> okay divine order charge my phone so I don't cut off <laughs> all right um, this is a uh, four power technique when we use soul power mind power body power and sound power so body power sit up straight put your tongue as close as you can to the roof of your mouth mm -hmm. it is okay to touch the roof of your mouth very gently um, when your back is away from the back of the chair it assists the healing power and the transformation power to work much much better if your back is sore of course don't hurt yourself okay and I want to acknowledge some of the newer people that are coming in so welcome Jennifer Connery welcome uh, Pat welcome Tina he welcome uh, Angie I think I mentioned you earlier welcome Kelly welcome Diana welcome Monica and those who have shared the videos thank you okay soul power soul power I will repeat in just a minute you can repeat after me a mind power, a visual rainbow light shining within you, shining within your family members, in this case your parents. Okay, you can, if you have children, bring them into the mix. So, children, parents, and you see the gold, the uh, rainbow light, excuse me, shining on all of you, and see the cord, the relationship soul, 
between you and the parents. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, I see it personally, I see it like almost like a time capsule, like an elongated um, uh, pill, right? Uh, it's it's light filled, but I see that carrying all of the the experiences. So the way I see a cord is a bit thicker in the relationship. Um, but see that between all of you, and that's where the spiritual virtue and the spiritual debt exists. Yeah, I see the I see the stream lagging a little. So that's where the spiritual debt and the spiritual um, uh, virtue exists. Sound power. We are going to chant divine treasures. Divine. We're going to chant divine rainbow, uh, rainbow light ball, divine harmony, rainbow light ball heals my relationship between my parents and me and my children. Divine rainbow light ball heals Divine rainbow, uh, divine harmony, rainbow light ball. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball heals the relationship between me, my parents, and my children. So let us do the soul power first. Soul power is connecting to the soul world. Repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body of my divine rainbow light ball and divine rainbow liquid springs of divine blessings. Of divine harmony, excuse me, soul, mind, body, transplants. I love you, honor you, and deeply appreciate you. You have the power to clear the soul, mind, body blockages in my relationship with my parents and my children. Do a great job. Thank you. You have the power to offer divine forgiveness for my mistakes in my relationships with my parents and my children. In this and all lifetimes, I am extremely grateful. I truly cannot thank you enough. Dear the soul of my parents and my children in this and all lifetimes, I love you, honor you, and I appreciate you. I sincerely apologize. I sincerely, deeply, deeply apologize for any form of suffering, physically hurting you, emotional suffering, mental suffering, or wrong guidance. If I have caused any of this form of harm or suffering upon you, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I invite you to join me for this practice. Thank you. So that's soul power. So with your eyes closed, we will chant, Divine Harmony Rainbow Light Ball heals the relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine Harmony Rainbow light ball heals the relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball heals my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Continue to repeat and now visualize the rainbow light getting bigger and brighter around your parents, your children, and yourself. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself and my children. 
divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between myself, my parents, and my children. Continue to repeat silently. Divine harmony, rainbow light ball, heals my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Continue to repeat. Divine harmony. See the rainbow light surrounding you and your parents. See the rainbow light surrounding you and your children from this and all lifetimes. See the rainbow light running through the cords that connect you and your children and you and your parents. Releasing blockages. Brilliant light shining in this connective relationship. Continue to chant. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances my relationship between myself, my parents, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances my relationship between myself, my parents, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances the relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Two more times. Divine harmony, rainbow liquid springs, heals and balances my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. Divine harmony, Rainbow liquid springs heals and balances my relationship between my parents, myself, and my children. So remain with your eyes closed, <clears throat> and I will offer a reading as to what transpired with this 10 minutes of chanting this mantra with the Divine Harmony Rainbow Light Ball and rainbow liquid springs that you have all received as a permanent treasure. How? This is the divine harmony, rainbow light ball, and rainbow liquid springs transmission that each of you has received. I have a soul, and I am deeply indebted 
to the soul of Master Shah for bringing my life into service in this book. And I thank the soul of Master Paul for transmitting me to all of you. For when I came out in 2010 in this book, I was able to serve many souls, but many have forgotten me and the service that I can offer. I hope that you honor all that I can do for you. Look around at humanity. Are they in harmony? It is the greatest suffering in history at this time. What is needed most is what I have to offer. I am the carrier, the vessel and the frequency of the Divine's harmony. Do you understand what that means for your relationships? In this short 10 minutes, I was able to offset significant suffering for all of those who chanted from their heart. Suffering that could have caused a loss of life because of the nature of the stress associated with the parent. This is not small things when you look at the disharmony that can occur. As was told you by our beloved spiritual mother, Kuan Yin, the nature of relationships is karmic. And to be able to identify and have such incredible opportunity to use the souls from the soul world using my soul and more to transform lifetimes of blockages is simply remarkable and not to be ignored. I encourage each of you to remember my soul and my dedicated service. I am now a part of your soul forever and all that is required of my service is your remembering of me. I hum at a low frequency of divine harmony at all times on your soul but it is in the remembering of me that I am able to operate at a hundred percent and bring great value to your disharmony. Please take advantage of my service, for without you I cannot serve, and without you I cannot raise my soul standing. It has been my honor to speak to each of you at this time. This is the soul of the divine rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid springs of divine harmony transmission. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing what these souls have to say, isn't it? You know? Um, very, if you, I don't know if I'm able to express through, but I feel the emotions of these souls when they borrow my mouth. And this soul had so much compassion to serve, so much wants to assist each of you to, to stop your suffering. And it's almost like crying. It's like, you forget about me. You don't use me. How can I serve you? That's is coming through. Hopefully you got that in the, in, the, in the tone that I tried to capture that it was speaking to me with. Very, very uh, huge, huge blessings to receive these. So please remember them. Please use them. More often is better. Master Shah always says, a practice five minutes, five times a day. Why does he say that? Because we're so busy, that's all we have time for. But he also says, the more you practice, the better the results. Okay? So he speaks to us at the human level, but in the reality level, the more you do, the better the results. The longer you do it, the better the results. The more you're fully present in your forgiveness practice, the better the results. So we have been very blessed today to receive blessings from Kuan Yin. We have been reminded of some of the 
extremely important and foundational teachers of Dr. and Master Shah. Kuan Yin gave us a beautiful flow. We received a wonderful flow from this, uh, this treasure that you've all received. And I have been blessed today to be connected to all of you. Please share with me what you would like to, uh, to receive more teaching, healings, and guidance for. Is there anything that's um, important in your life that, that you just need um, um, a lot more movement on to, to get it out of your life? And so uh, I'll kind of take an overview of the overall responses, kind of get a collective of what, what is most important in people's lives so they want some support with, and I'll continue to, um, to serve each of you each and every day. So please tune in tomorrow. Um, if you're not familiar with my website or my newsletter, please check it out, asoulhealer.com. It's listed right above this video. If you're new, uh, hit the subscribe button. At the end of this, please hit the share button. The more people see this and all over in the groups and whatnot, the more people uh, whose lives can be positively impacted. And to serve another person, uplift your soul standing. So it's good karma, all right? So I love you all, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.